sobrang nakakabaka Mr. President po ang Secretary of Health na mismo ang nagsasabi ng maling info tungkol sa COVID-19. Hindi po sinabi ng World Health Organization na hindi nakakahawa ang mga walang symptoms ng COVID. In the website of WHO, ito po ang kanilang sinabi. Um, sa Situation Report 73 dated April 2 on asymptomatic transmission, ang sabi po nila, there are few reports of laboratory confirmed cases who are truly asymptomatic. And to date, there has been no documented asymptomatic transmission. This does not exclude the possibility that it may occur. Sa question and answer naman po on coronaviruses, ang sabi naman po ng World Health Organization, some reports have indicated that people with no symptoms can transmit the virus. It is not known yet how often it happens. It happens. Yun lang po, Mr. President. Thank you, Santo Binay. At this point, may I ask the, now the DA Secretary, William Dark. Mr. Mr. President, Mr. President, President, before Mr. President, uh, Senator Zubiris. Yes, Senator. I'm a majority leader. Yes, Mr. President, can I make also a brief manifestation? No more than one minute to, to continue with what Senator Bina has been saying, uh, Mr. President, on the issue of the DOH Secretary. Just for the record, uh, Mr. President, really quick. May I, Mr. President? Yes, go ahead, Senator Zubiris. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I was very alarmed with the statement of DOH Secretary Duque yesterday on the second wave, that we are now on the second wave. I think we're the only country in the world that has admitted that we are on the second wave. Mr. Pres Mr. President, Mr. Chairman, the three people, the three Chinese nationals that he mentioned that was the first wave, that was not even a ripple, Mr. President. How could that have been a wave? Uh, and all my chat groups with the medical uh, doctors and uh, frontliners have been commenting that it was a ridiculous statement which sowed panic, which sowed panic to many uh, groups, particularly business groups, because now they have to explain why uh, to, to uh, their employees as well as their uh, potential clients uh, while they reopen while we are on a second wave. Uh, saying that we or admitting that we are on a second wave actually shows incompetence on the part of the department or the personnel because that means we are not able to control the first wave. Technically, Mr. President and Secretary Año, Secretary Medialdia, and Secretary Roque are completely right by saying we are still on the first wave because we have not controlled the pandemic in this first wave to be able to create a second wave, Mr. President. I hope that the government can correct this because it's sowing panic amongst our people that we are now on the second wave. And we are going to come out now in international circles as the first country to hit a second wave, Mr. President. So they should be very careful with their statements, uh, Mr. President. Thank you very much.